Hello, my name is Jason Kuntz. I'm the Director of Housing and Residence Life here at Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology. I have worked here for seven and a half years now, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about living on campus and the Department of Residence Life and Housing. So I'm the director. I work from 8 to 4.30, Monday through Friday, so I'm the main point of contact during those hours for resident students. In the evening hours, my dorm directors slash residence hall advisors, which are professional staff members who do not live on campus, but they work in offices located in each of our residence halls. They would be the main point of contact from 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Monday through Thursday. And then I also have weekend coverage as well. As far as our campus, we do not have a residency requirement here, unlike many other campuses. Our students are able to commute, they're able to live off campus if they'd like, or they can elect to live on campus as a resident student. Priority for being a resident, though, is given to students who qualify for our Stevens grant and are at a distance unable to commute. We have six residence halls on campus, one located at the Orange Street location, which is a very large facility, and then we have five smaller buildings that are located on our main campus. Approximately 55% of our resident students will live at the Orange Street location and 45% will live at our main campus location. We do try to house students based off where their major is located. That's our first priority. So if you are a graphic student at Orange Street, you will most likely be housed in Orange Street. If you are a cabinet making student, whose major is located on main campus, you'd be most likely housed on main campus. For students whose majors are located at Greenfield or Griner campuses, we will place you wherever we have the most amount of vacancies available. We do try to place students by majors as we feel those serve as learning communities. Students can help each other because they're on the same schedule and they can study with one another at, in the evening hours after class. Students may request their roommate for their freshman year by either putting a name of a specific student on the housing questionnaire form or by emailing me directly, Kuntz, K-U-N-T-Z, at stevenscollege.edu. Please note that room requests must be reciprocal, meaning Devon must say he wants to live with John and John must want must say he wants to live with Devon in order for that match to occur. If only Devon emails me, then there must be a reason John didn't email me, so I will not be pausing those two students together. As far as our rooms go, every room comes equipped with a bed, a mattress, a dresser, a desk, a desk chair, in a closet or wardrobe of some type. On main campus, the rooms, except for Brenner Hall, are all tiled floors, tiled hallways. Orange Street and Brenner have carpeted hallways and carpeted rooms. All bathrooms are common area bathrooms, meaning each floor shares a bathroom. There is no privatized individual bathrooms attached to any of our rooms. Microwaves are not permitted to be brought by students. We provide those in common areas for students to share. Students are permitted to bring their own refrigerator as long as it's under five cubic feet. All rooms also come equipped with a cable ready jack in the wall as well as internet and ethernet capabilities. Rooms also have fire suppression systems in them, meaning we have sprinklers, and smoke detectors also in our rooms. All resident students are required to have a meal plan, meaning they can select either a five-day plan, which consists, or a seven-day plan. The five-day plan consists of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Friday, and the seven-day plan consists of an additional brunch and dinner on Friday and Saturday. On main campus, Except for Brenner Hall, all rooms are accessed via the student ID card. Brenner Hall and Orange Street 
you will use your ID card to access the building and or floor, but you will be issued a room key to gain access to your room. We have 24 hour, seven day a week coverage from our security staff here at the college, as well as most of our residential floors have cameras on them. Some expectations that we have are that students keep a very tidy room. The staff will go around once a week and conduct what we call room checks to verify that students are properly disposing of their trash, not having clothes laying all over the floor. So we wanna keep a tidy atmosphere to help keep these rooms safe and clean. In addition, we have a fairly strict student code of conduct, particularly pertaining to alcohol and or drugs. No alcohol and or drugs may be consumed on our campuses. And if you do violate that policy, you can be removed from the residence halls for up to one week. And depending on the severity of that infraction, it could ex expel you from the residence halls for the entire semester. So please make sure that you think long and hard before you make one of those choices. Some things we like to do for fun on campus is residence halls advisors will sponsor programs, either educational or social. We have a residence hall council that will meet once a month and they will plan events for the resident students as well as bring up student concerns or ideas for improving the campus environment. We have rec rooms as well in our residence halls so students can play pool, watch TV, maybe play some other games. We have some ping pong tables as well. And we have a student government association which oversees all the student organizations across campus that students can apply for funds to do programming more specific to their specific interests. So I hope this gives you a good snapshot of what it's like to be a resident student here at Thaddeus Stevens. And again, my name is Jason Kuntz. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to email me at kuntz at stevenscollege.edu. And I hope you have a great day and stay safe. Take care.